All right, hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 2.5 on rates and it's found on page 64 of your textbook. Follow along and you will have something to do to turn in once we finish with this. I will leave you something at the end as a little present and the goal is to determine, determine and apply rates to solve problems. All right, great subject matter here. Terry Fox, someone near and dear to all of us. During his Marathon of Hope, Terry Fox ran from Pickering to Scarborough Town Center in Toronto. He covers a distance of 30 kilometers in about 8 hours. Terry also ran from Sudbury to Sault Ste. Marie. He took 56 hours over an 8-day period to travel the 245 kilometer distance. So, two distances, potentially two different speeds, we don't know, we're going to work that out. Because the question is, during which of these two parts of his marathon was Terry Fox faster? Let's take a look. Now, first, before we do anything, here's some lovely definitions for you. Take these down. Feel free to pause if you need to. Two definitions. One is speed. The rate at which a moving object changes position with time, basically going from point A to point B and how fast that happens. An example, a sprinter who runs 100 meters in 10 seconds has an average speed of 100 meters over 10 seconds or 10 meters a second. So that's speed and that's how speed is measured by using a rate like this. And what is a rate? A comparison of two quantities measured in different units as we see over here, meters, seconds. All right, meters to 10 seconds, meters to seconds. All right, unlike ratios, which is the same, you're always working on the same units, rate include units. Uh, sorry, ratios don't have a unit. Rates have a unit. All right, so ratios, no units, none of this. All right, uh, rates have units, and they're different units, okay? Good, good, let's go. If you need to pause, feel free to pause. All right, I will continue, but if you need to get this down, or you can get it right from your textbook, that you can do as well, but get these definitions down, definitely. All right, we move on. All right, so, so, a speed, not a, a. Speed is an example of rate. It compares, um, compares the distance traveled to the time taken to travel this distance. Um, estimate the average speed at which Terry ran from Pickering, Toronto, and remember, it was 30 kilometers in about 8 hours. Um, then, estimate his average speed from Sudbury to Sault Ste. Marie, and that's 56 hours to travel 245 kilometers. Now, I'll let you work that out, but in the meantime, I'm going to work it out as well. And it basically was four kilometers an hour for both. Roughly, because remember, ladies and gentlemen of grade eight or anyone else who's watching in whatever grade you're in, we are estimating. So it's about four kilometers an hour for each. Now, does that help in our answer? No. So we have to dig a little deeper and get precise units. But to estimate, they're both around the same. So, let's move on here. All right, now, express each rate in step B as a unit rate by writing a proportion and dividing by the appropriate scale factor. Um, now, Pickering, Toronto was 30 kilometers in about eight hours. Sault Ste. Marie, Sarbri to Sault Ste. Marie was 56 hours over an eight day period over 245 kilometers. Now, what is a unit rate? A rate in which the second term is 1. 60 kilometers an hour is a unit rate because it compares the distance traveled 60 kilometers to 1 hour in time. Here we have 8 hours, here we have 56 hours. So how are we going to figure this out? Basically we divide 30 kilometers by 8 hours in this case. So let's give it a shot. So in this case 30 divided by eight hours. Three hundred and sorry, three point seven five. All right. Three 
0.75 kilometers an hour. So that is his actual speed from Pickering to Toronto was 375 kilom 3.75 kilometers an hour. Now, Sault Ste. Marie from Sudbury. We'll try that again. 245 divided by 56 gives you 4.375 or 4.38 kilometers an hour. So here are your unit rates, kilometers per hour, and he ran 3.75 kilometers an hour from Pickering to Toronto and 4.38 kilometers an hour from Sudbury to Sault Ste. Marie. So he ran a little bit faster right here. So now, here's the fun part. Now, get all this down, pause if you need to, and here's the fun part. We have a little bit of graphing to do, and I'm going to start, I'm going to start it out for you. So Pickering to Toronto, zero, zero distance. So in zero hours, he went zero distance. Now Pickering to Toronto, he did 3.75 kilometers. And from Sudbury to Sault Ste. Marie, he did 4.38. Now, I'm going to work a bit of these for you and complete 11.25 now your job is to complete these tables now here, I'll do this one for you Eight, seven five and finally 13 13 so continue this take these tables all right and then Oh, here's the fun part. Oh, I can't believe I'm missing out on all this fun that you guys are going to be doing. And I'll be checking this tomorrow or next day or whenever we do this. Um, so complete this these two tables. And when you're done, use your table of values to plot the points for Terry Fox's run from Pickering to Toronto. Put time on the horizontal and distance on the vertical. Oops time on the horizontal yeah or time horizontal yes and distance on the vertical horizontal vertical right anyway join the points with a line to show terry's average speed now this uh pick in toronto do this one in blue and on the same pair of axis uh plot the points for terry fox for terry's run from sudbury to saint marie do that in green so basically plot everything okay so this one's obviously zero okay one two yeah hello <laughs> yeah fix that here okay two three and so on and so forth and then you would do something nice and simple like five 10, 15, etc. Okay, again, complete this, complete this, uh, these, these plot points. All right, complete that. And using your table of values, which you are going to complete as well, fill this up. Use Pickering Toronto in blue. So you're going to use one pair of axes, but Pickering Toronto is going to be one, and Sunbury to Sault Ste. Marie is going to be the other. So I should see two lines on this one graph all right sounds good beautiful all right sorry it was a little bit long but pause and go back if you need to so that's all i have to say about this one i uh, will be checking for this uh, next day in class all right thank you and see you later